writing on the seats that will be in front of them inside the taxi, and they may ask me, um, you know, just a general question, what is the Venus Project? Um, I would vary the way I answer that, depending on what perceptions I've got of them, based on how they spoke, how they looked, etc., etc., which in itself I suppose is wrong, but if we're going to talk to people, we've got to have a fair idea of where they're going to come from, where they're, go what they're going to be able to understand. So I suppose we all use um, labelling to an extent, even if it's subconsciously at the moment. Um, so, standard question, oh, what is the Venus Project? Um, I thought quite a good way to get people interested in it would be to come up with a fairly standard answer. And I decided upon this one. And I used to say to people, there are a bunch of people who think that we're being ripped off by governments and big businesses. <laughs> to this day, I haven't found an individual who disagrees with that statement. Indeed, very many reply very strongly in agreement. In addition, the way I tried to sum up how the Venus Project would work in a practical sense would be to say that it would be achieved when everybody on the planet wakes up in the morning and has the purpose for the day of making the planet a better place for all on it, rather than how much money they're going to make. For years, the various establishments in various countries were pretty much in charge of distributing information, mainly through books and films. Now, and since the internet went public in 92, and with the advent of social media like Twitter and Facebook, information is virtually free. And much, I believe, is only a matter of time before many of the humans on this planet will be joining it. How we get from here to there, I'm not sure yet, but when you're live in a country that is supposedly the first world, like the UK, and your country spends more on debt than it does on education, then there's obviously something very wrong with the system. And a country where the police are unhappy with having to fake cuts. I'm sorry, but for all of Mrs. Thatcher's failures, even she realised that you need to keep the police on side. And so I shall be at the demo in London on March the 26th, along with many others, dissatisfied with the current political system. I'm actually going to be a senior student, don't tell the anarchists, because they won't beat me up. <laughs> um, so, basically, the way I see it, we're in a, we, we have a lot going on at the moment in this world, financially uh, and socially. And it's obvious that something has to give at some point. There's going to have to be some change. Society has always changed. A hundred years ago, opium was legal here. Now it's not. Laws change. Times change. When I was a child, you could ride your bicycle on the pavement. Now if you ride your bicycle on the pavement, you get a ticket. Things change. It happens. It will continue to happen. Thanks very much.